searching for answers along BC's Highway of Tears. The story of Vancouver's missing women is well documented. Highway 16, known as the Highway of Tears, stretches from Prince George to Prince Rupert. We're taking our people out there. Why are we allowing that to happen today? They're not just a statistic. They're people, they're, they're, they're little girls when they're growing up. They were bubbly and everything. They, they had plans to go somewhere to do something. They figured the world would never hurt them in any way. My name is Matilda Wilson. I have six children all together, and Ramona is the youngest one. She was 16 years old when she was murdered on June 11th, 1994. They hired her in June to be a peer counselor for the Smithers Community Service, and she was so ecstatic about that. Saturday was, was, was the day she was to meet her friends and, you know, there's no buses running or transits or anything like that. She never made it there. I went to the RCMP. Their response was, uh, she'll come back, just give her a week. It just seemed nobody was alarmed at all. Why was that? Because she was a uh, native or what? We just try to have some hope, but we know it's a vast area. There's so many logging roads. It's, it's just like looking at a needle in a haystack. On, on April 10th, the RCMP notified me. They said that they had found the remains of uh, Ramona Wilson. It just felt like I couldn't go on anymore because that was the baby of our family. The highway, you have beautiful scenery. When you're driving or if you're walking, you see the mountains, you, you see how dense the forests are. Still, there's an eerie feeling that you're all alone there. Ramona's murder is unsolved for 22 years. Even now, I lose my breath uh, just, just thinking about the mothers that the, there's no trace of their daughters. I want people to know that, that we're standing there for our loved ones, the ones that are still missing and the ones that are unsolved murders. I'm not going to give up.